Okay, I'm going to do an audio, uh, excuse me, I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to set up multi-track outputs for your drum software. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using uh, Superior Drummer, and you want to start with a blank session because we're going to create a template. Now, if you do not have a bigger version than Cubase LE, this won't work because what you need is under the Devices menu, you need to have VST Instruments as an option. And to my knowledge, LE4 and LE5 do not have this. So this tutorial will not work on late editions of this software. So what we're going to do is we're going to start Devices VST Instruments. This little window pops up. We're going to load the plugin. Superior Drummer. Wait for this thing to load. Do you want to create a MIDI track assigned to plugin Superior Drummer? Yes, why not? In this case, I'm going to load the Avatar Kit. And yes, I do own my software. For anyone wondering. I wonder why it's not wanting to load though. Huh, goofy. Um well I'm sure it's fine maybe a GUI I just updated this thing so maybe that's why it's wigging out weird maybe if we can get you well we'll just go with evil drums then okay pull this down uh, really quickly give me one second here yeah okay so we've loaded superior drummer the next thing we need to do is next to the E on this window we need to select this little guy right here and activate all outputs okay this pops up now we've got all these audio outputs and now what we have to do is we have to go into superior drummer the GUI for superior drummer and we have to go to the mixer and we have to route things where we want them so we're gonna go kick just go down the line. These out one twos, you got to change them to where you want them to go. Okay. All right. So you just you would keep going, um, and then what you would do is uh, I like to name them over here: kick, um, SD top, SD bottom, hats, RT one, etc. Um, I'm just going to be showing this for the sake of it. Now, if you've done this right, you hit kick. It should only show up in the kick. Hit snare. Um, should only show up in the snare. However, I think bleed is on. That might be why this is happening. I wonder what's going on. I'm not really sure why that is doing. Oh, I know why. Because everything. Kick is actually track one and two. So. If you, so right now we have everything bleeding into one and two. So snare bottom, you should be able to solo this. And just hear the snare mic. Just hear the bottom snare mic. Hats. Just hit the hat mic. So on and so forth. Okay, when you're all done routing everything and you've got it all set up, these are all named. What you do is you go up to file. Save as template give it a name hit OK and now we're gonna close this out and now when you go to new project you will have you'll be able to open your uh, your template and everything load and it's really nice um, so in this one I can show you a little easier except I don't know why this is being weird with the avatar kit that update killed it. Um, oh, I loaded a new kit and it screwed up. Um, but it, it should default to having everything routed correctly. Now, the reason why you want to do that is because now on the kick only track, you can use Cubase plugins or your third party plugins to mix your drums. That concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to answer or comment, or excuse me, comment, and I will get back to you. Thanks.